Hello, my name is Wendy Ward and I'm the manager of the ARC of Texas Partners in Disability Leadership Program. Congratulations for being selected to join the 2022 class. We're looking forward to your participation. This orientation video is meant to be a high level overview of the how, what, and why of the ARC of Texas Partners in Disability Leadership Program, which I'll refer to as PDL going forward. We thought it would make sense to provide logistical information in advance of the first session, which starts on Friday, February 18th. During this orientation, we'll explain the purpose and goals of PDL, describe the schedule and expectations for PDL, define intellectual and developmental disabilities, or IDD, introduce the ARC of Texas, and provide next steps. Why Partners in Disability Leadership? There is the recognition that we have disability leaders, but how do we harness that energy to leverage positive systemic change for Texans with IDD and their families? The Texas Council for Developmental Disabilities, or TCDD, awarded two grants to develop the next generation of leaders in the intellectual and developmental disabilities field. One of these grants is for PDL. This intentional approach is designed to counterbalance something we're seeing now, which has to do with current leaders retiring or otherwise exiting the IDD field with a need for more support for emerging leaders. This list is indicative of the competencies that come to mind when contemplating leadership in our field. So for reflecting, we seek to establish a foundation by exploring the history of IDD and how we arrived at this moment. This is really to establish a baseline for connecting to related themes. Refining involves evaluating leadership and communications competencies to consciously improve and take initiative. Collaborating. This is crucial in terms of the IDD field constantly evolving. Often what you think is an issue from your silo isn't, or the solution is derived from another perspective. Collaborating means having the right people at the table informing you and you informing them. All of this is key to being a leader. Acting. For PDL, we learn by doing, not by being talked at. This approach optimizes our time and opportunities to learn from each other. And networking. This is key to sustainability and connectedness. We'll forge networking connections which support systems change. What is the program's structure? There are nine sessions for PDL, and each session consists of one day of virtual learning. You'll receive an agenda before each session. We anticipate that each session will start at 9 a.m. Central and conclude by 5 p.m. with time for lunch and breaks. This program consists of three pillars. First, each session is built around diverse themes that feature expert presenters who will teach you about topics relevant to the disability community. Second, this is a professional development course that is designed to help you hone your leadership skills. And third, this is also an opportunity to network with fellow class members whose backgrounds are rich and diverse. We will all learn from each other. In the context of elevating our work in the IDD field and cultivating leaders, what can you expect from us? We will make sure that each session is informative and has practical application to your job. You'll get to know fellow class members through networking and masterminding. Know that for the self-directed leadership project, you'll receive support from us. The point of this project is to benefit your agency or organization and ultimately Texans with IDD and their families. We'll be responsive to your needs and facilitators and presenters will model inclusive behaviors throughout the sessions. We won't promote our public policy goals as part of Partners in Disability Leadership. We will demonstrate a commitment to the inclusion of individuals with IDD. What do we expect of you? We expect you to attend all sessions. We will work with you to get you up to speed if you need to miss a session, but please understand that these sessions build on each other, so it's important that you attend. We'll share the list of participants with their agencies and organizations and hometowns ahead of time. If there's group work and you would prefer to work in a particular group, we can accommodate that. We will facilitate this series in a confidential space and ask that you respect the confidentiality of others and be open to different perspectives and the different ways people learn. Demonstrating a commitment to the inclusion of individuals with IDD is paramount. We assume you would not have applied for this program if you don't already uphold that commitment. 
Also, this is the third year of PDL, and if you'd like to learn more about past participants and what they worked on in terms of their leadership projects, for example, you can check out the PDL 2020 and 2021 yearbooks by going to the ARC of Texas website for PDL information. The Leadership Project is a cornerstone of PDL. It's designed to provide you with the knowledge to develop skills that positively impact systems of services and supports that are used by Texans with IDD. It is not something that you design, implement, and complete by graduation. It involves fully articulating an idea or innovation that will improve the quality of life of individuals with IDD and their families. You'll present your design at graduation. There will be more on the Leadership Project as we progress through the sessions. The Arc of Texas focuses on IDD and the unique needs of individuals with IDD. So what is IDD? An intellectual disability is a disability that occurs before age 18 and is characterized by significant limitations in both intellectual functioning and in adaptive behavior such as social and practical everyday living skills. The Federal Developmental Disabilities Assistance and Bill of Rights Act, or DD Act of 2000, defines a developmental disability as a severe chronic disability of an individual that is attributable to a mental or physical impairment or combination of mental and physical impairments that manifests before age 22, is likely to continue indefinitely, results in substantial functional limitations in three or more major life activities. Examples of major life activities include self-care, receptive and expressive language, learning, mobility, self-direction, capacity for independent living, economic self-sufficiency. Not everyone with a developmental disability has an intellectual disability, though they sometimes co-occur. Everyone's unique needs must be addressed because every person is different. People with IDD require individualized supports. Ever since its founding, the ARC has continued to grow and evolve with the changing needs and issues people with disabilities and their families face. The ARC has played a pivotal role in changing public perceptions of disability. There is the National ARC, the ARC of the United States. We are guided by them. The ARC of Texas works on policy and systems change, not direct service outside of the Master Pool Trust Program. Local ARC organizations are autonomous and provide direct service in many cases. Their programs are based on the needs of their own communities. The mission of the ARC of Texas is to promote, protect, and advocate for the human rights and self-determination of Texans with intellectual and developmental disabilities. And we envision a world where Texans with intellectual and developmental disabilities are included in their communities, where quality supports and services are available to meet their needs and choices. These are the core values of the ARC. People first. People with IDD are defined by their own strengths and abilities and inherent value, not by their disability. Equity. People with IDD are entitled to the respect, dignity, equality, safety, and security accorded to other members of society and are equal before the law. Community. People with IDD belong in the community and have a fundamental moral, civil, and constitutional right to be fully included and actively participate in all aspects of society. Self-determination. People with IDD with appropriate resources and supports can make decisions about their own lives and must be heard on issues that affect their well-being. Diversity. We can all benefit from the contributions of people with diverse personal characteristics. These core values tie back to the curriculum of PDL. We assume you also share these values. Next steps. You will receive two books in the mail for you to read at your leisure. Mindset is by Carol S. Dweck. She is the Lewis and Virginia Eaton Professor of Psychology at Stanford University. This book ties to the leadership pillar of Partners in Disability Leadership. Disability Visibility by Alice Wong, a prominent disability rights activist, is an important collection of contemporary essays by people with disabilities. Please check your email for additional updates. You'll receive a list of class members in PDL 2022, and there will be an email with an agenda for session one, which begins on Friday, February 18th. You'll receive calendar invitations with Zoom links so that you can join the sessions throughout the year. 
Speaking of Zoom, please familiarize yourself with Zoom tools if you don't already know how to use them. Finally, if you have questions before session one, please contact me at wward at thearcoftexas.org. I'm happy to be of assistance. Thank you for your time and for tuning into this orientation to Partners in Disability Leadership. We look forward to seeing you soon.